What's up, guys? In this video, we are breaking down how the Seattle Seahawks pounded the Arizona Cardinals on their past meeting this Sunday. Let's go ahead and dive right into the film. So on this formation right here, twins to the field, you get a two-back set, and it's closed on the boundary side at the top of the screen with a tight end. Number 26, Charbonnet, is their main running back. He's on the right of Geno Smith, but he's actually going to be the blocker here. Up front, they're running split zone right. Charbonnet is going to be the split zone that will kick this defender, the first man outside. Charbonnet gets a good kick here. McIntosh with a backside cut to the backside B right off of that kick and then gets downhill for a positive gain. See it from the end zone copy. See right here, defensive end with a wide rush. That's going to make this an easy kick for Zach Charbonnet. Tight end, there's no one on the inside, so he's going to work up to backer. Really good cut there by McIntosh, followed by North downhill running, and they stay ahead of the sticks. On this next one right here, they are in a condensed 12 personnel set. 12 personnel, two tight ends, one back. Both tight ends are in wing sets right here with two split wide receivers tight in alignment. Tight end to the right is going to get an escort motion into power. That's going to send him in this jet motion. And then he's going to kick the first defender to the outside kick. Backside guard wraps. Charbonnet with a good bounce right there making a defender miss. And then look at good downfield blocking by DK Metcalf. So let's watch it from the end zone copy. 86 is going to be the one who goes in escort motion and will kick the first defender outside of the tight end. That's going to be this defender right here. Everybody else is down on the line of scrimmage except for the backside guard. He's going to pull wrap. Tight end. Nobody is inside his gap. He'll work up to backer. Left tackle will take care of the four-eye technique. Left guard is going to take care of the nose. The center will work back to the three technique and then so on and so forth. Get a couple of the last checks right here by Geno Smith. He'll send 86 in motion. Pause it right here. Exactly like you drew it up. Tight end with a good kick right here. Tight end has worked up to backer. Now you got the backside guard. He has wrapped up to the next backer. And then DK Metcalf is working downfield to the safety. All Charbonnet's got to do is make one guy miss at the corner, and he's off to the races, and it's a great gain. Just a few plays later, now low red zone area. They've been stuffed a couple times. Things get difficult when you're talking about near the goal line. So they come out in I formation, jumbo set with three tight ends. Now they're going to shift out. Charbonnet empties out wide. Fullback went to the offset position. And the tight end now traded to the nub side. So you get two tight ends over here. Cardinals are trying to push. They know that they don't have enough numbers backside. What do you do? You now send Charbonnet in a jet sweep. Get outside. North cut. Finds himself in to the end zone. A really good run scheme right here. You're always thinking just downhill. They haven't had success. Go with some pre-snap motion. Try to outflank them and get a plus one on the opposite side. Charbonnet is able to get there. Some good blocks and get north. Real quick, guys, if you're enjoying this content and you're gaining value, do me one favor. Hit that subscribe button. It is free. Join this channel and help us grow. So now we're getting right back into this. They go with a pro set to the boundary to the left side of the field. That's a tight end and one receiver. Then you get twins to the right, which is to the field side. Jackson Smith and Ajigba is going to motion, orbit motion all the way across. He's in this concept. They could potentially throw this as an RPO read. They're going to run what is called GT counter. It's just another counter run concept. But in GT, it's guard tackle that pulls. Normal counter is guard tight end. GT is guard tackle. It's just another gap scheme run. These backside guards and backside tackles are going to flat pull kick and then flat pull wrap. And then the quarterback will be able to read it off the backside, whether he wants to keep it or throw it. Get the handoff, kick, wrap, north cut by Charbonnet, who does a really good job of keeping his shoulder pad square and then getting downhill. My correction on this one, this was actually McIntosh. Like, say, Seahawks doing a really good job of running with multiple backs. 
All right, so freeze it right here. Jackson Smith and Jigba has motioned all the way across. He can be an RPO read right here. Backside guard on GT counter. This backside guard's going to flat pull kick first defender to the outside. Backside tackle will wrap to the nearest backer or the first defender that shows. Everybody else is down, 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 and you'll be reading the first defender outside. Hand it off. Good wrap right there. North cut. It's a really good run scheme, and they absolutely love GT, as you'll see right here on this next play. A little bit later in the drive. Simple RPO off of GT action. We've got trips to the left. Back is offset to the right. They're going to run GT counter left, and then with a bubble screen out of the third receiver right here. If the nickel corner or the safety wants to stunt and they, they try to set a hard edge, Geno Smith can throw it out here. They'll now have the numbers three for two. But if they don't, then that gives them a lighter box and they can run the football. Remember, GT, backside guard, pull kick, tackle, pull wrap. Let's see how this one plays out for them. Pull kick, wrap, north cut, tackle actually got up to the safety. The play side tackle gets up to the safety, and that is when you go from a 15-yard game to a house call. Slow it down so you can see it right here. This left tackle, he's got to block anything down inside. This defender goes outside on him, so he's going to pass him off. That's going to be the kick, and then you'll get a wrap. This now tackle is going to work all the way to the safety, and that makes every bit of difference and allows Charbonnet to bust this one loose for a massive touchdown explosion. It's all about the techniques and sticking to your rules, especially in gap scheme. Here's the thing. I think a lot of people think that the NFL is so far advanced that they don't run the same plays or they've got to have so many different plays in the books. Guys, it's still football at the end of the day. And if it's working, don't get away from it. Seahawks do it right here again. A little bit later in the game, trips right, back is offset left. They're going to go GT right with a bubble screen as an RPO. No one fits a hard edge. Geno Smith hands it, and really good downhill running. Keeps him ahead of his sticks, like a 10-yard gain right here. Watch it from the end zone, copy. Down, down, flat pull, kick, wrap, good patience. Would like number 63 to just keep working downfield a little bit more. He kind of hesitated right there, kind of slowed him up, but it's still positive gain. Then I wanted to add this one right here. This is not a run, but when you're pounding the rock through the ground game and then it creates uh, play action shot plays down the field. Geno Smith threw for about 250-something yards in this game. Seahawks offense just had a very productive day against Cardinals. But when you're pounding it and then you're getting play action shots off of that, it, teams tend to lose their running backs. And Charbonnet had like 140 yards rushing in this game, but he also had 50-something yards receiving. And it's because of things like this. Fake the handoff, play action, now pop it right back to him, and you got a quick little pop-out screen right there. Charbonnet's doing a really good job of making defenders miss, and he gets yards after the catch. Seahawks had a really good performance against the Cardinals. Cardinals absolutely needed this game, and now it looks like the Seahawks are really starting to spread uh, their distance away from the Cardinals inside that division. Let me know what you guys think about the Cardinals' performance and their ground game going forward. They really got something cooking over there in the Seahawks, and they're looking to build on it. As always, guys, watch this next film breakdown. I think you'll enjoy it. Stay humble, stay kind. Peace.